Welcome back to Let's Play Mischief Makers. Today, we're gonna have a rough day, but let's try to enjoy it up until then. So we have 3-9 the day before. Oh man. Hmm. I don't like the cut of your jib. You have more money than you have any right to have. Wow, didn't even give him a floor or nothing. That's rough. Oh, I think I just took all of it. I may or may not have just taken all your money back. Well, that's his problem now. He should have... I wonder if you're that same guy that we saw at uh, Spike Ball Land. So this is interesting. Um... All right, managed to be him. That's good. So this is a way to practice, I guess, your 100 meter dash, which you have to do by doing this, but that'll come up later. You cannot do the fastest mode of movement, which is this. I am the jump rope champ! Even though these guys were doing it a lot longer than I was. Oh, am I missing something? I mean, that was the gold gem. Oh, it was back here. Good old Tack Clancer. Such an amazing TV personality. I'm glad they managed to get him to host this. Don't even know what to do with him! Wait, the hospital director? I kinda remember you. You were a horrible person. No. Maybe you weren't a horrible person. I remember you, though. I, I don't remember him, but I feel like I may. You know what? Sure, if you'll take me. Y 
Yay! Otherwise, I would have had to go with the red team. Sorry, guys. All I want is a prize. And, like, I, I can get behind that. Just a bunch of guys that all get together and say, Hey, we just want to have fun. It's like, yeah, there's a prize, but, like, really, we just want to have a good time. Except for that guy. On the red team. Who really wants the prize. So we darn well better win. The day of. Okay, this is gonna be an interesting one. I'm not entirely sure how this is gonna work, but we're gonna find out. So there are events! Now this is one of the neat things about this game and the level design, the game design of this game. And I think it's what makes it so unique, what makes it so memorable is they have their own gimmick, which is you can grab and throw things. That's your main way of interacting with the world. And you can also dash, so that's kind of cool and not at all related to grabbing and throwing. But you know what? Mobility's cool. And, like, on their own, eh, games have done that before. How can you make that your main mechanic other than thinking of ways to interact with that? What they did wasn't just treat it like a typical platformer where every stage is you have a beginning, you have an end. All you have to do is get to the end. And then they have to come up with obstacles that you can interact with using their mechanic to get to the end. Like, if you limit yourself like that, then yeah, there's only so much you can do with grabbing and throwing. But instead, they kind of rethought the whole thing. Like, well, why does stay just have to have a beginning and end, like an end that you get to? Like, not only did they rethink think their mechanics through real neat, but they also thought, what is a stage? What else can we do with this mechanic other than a platformer? And that's where you get so much weird crap so far that we've gotten. Like, hey, just collect a bunch of guys. Hey, my kids are out running around. Then you get an athletic festival. Okay, so there's the 100 meter dash, 200 meter, 400 meter, the long jump, the ball, I think is just like catching a ball, um, hurdles and math fun. So let's go ahead and start with the 200 meter and see what happens from there. So you wait for the paching before you go. No flying. So no flying, no jumping. You can also press the C keys or the C buttons, but they did specify that pressing the the D pad is faster, and it is. But that's all you can do, it's a mash. You come here and you mash, and you get there as fast as you can. meters, by the way. It's a haul. It sure is a haul. Yahoo! 2160. Like, the world record was like two minutes or something, so beating that is nothing. But a 2160 does not actually bode well 
for later. So, um, let's go ahead and do the... You know what? Let's get it out of the way. Let's do that 400 meter. Now, winning these isn't hard, because once you get ahead, you're just ahead for a while. Same rules, just longer distance. And we're off to a really friggin' long start. Oh yeah, we are not looking good. Mm, this is gonna be rough. This one's fine, we're gonna win this one hands down. Uh, the one that worries me is the 100 meter. Jeez, I'm like giving myself a Charlie horse doing this. Just standing here mashing as hard as I can. It's actually my left hand that I'm giving it, because I'm mashing with my right hand, despite that the D-pad is on the left side. But I'm holding the controller steady with my left hand, and my left hand is the one that's getting a Charlie first. Okay, we did it. Okay, that one, other than just an endurance battle, which longer races are an endurance battle, that's kind of what they are. Um, other than that, not that bad. Not really in a lot of danger. Let's go for the long jump. They actively tell you to show off the slide jump. So you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry about anything fancy here. Okay, so we can just go... Eh, I should have dashed in the air. Oh, wow, yeah. That's okay. We get another attempt. Oh, wow. See, this, this is the problem with the C buttons being on a joystick. Because it's really not that hard to beat them. It's just, oof. That's fine. We're still winning. So the ball, next up is the ball. The ball is kind of a crapshoot, to be honest. Um, maybe we'll get it, maybe we won't. This one just gets rough, though. I was kind of expecting to win that long jump one and lose this one. So it's real simple. Uh, they throw a bunch of crap at you. Try to catch the white ball. 
Don't catch the red ball. They get points. Also, don't catch bombs. I got a white one. Yeah. I like how much crap's going on. Like, look at all the guys flying around in the background. That guy with a jet just flew by. Guy with a chef hat hopping onto screen. Whoa. Well, oh, I didn't want to catch a bomb. No, 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 give me that. Dang it. You know, it'd help a lot if there weren't so many bombs and you actually threw white ones. That would help too. So there we go. Like I said, that one just gets rough. Okay, so we got two more. We can still win this. Hurdle. No, we got three more. Okay. Hurdle. Hurdle shouldn't be too bad. Because this is one I have practiced. And by practiced, I mean I did a really hard stage a while back that required a lot of this kind of crap to get the gold gem. No flying, but we can still do our long jump. Oh wow, really? That counted as me moving forward? I like how they got me for flying on that. That seems weird. Can I at least press down? Wait, no, they let I'm not allowed to do that. They didn't stop me, but whatever. Budget. Yahoo! I should have just done the dash jump. Why was I worrying about that crap? Doesn't matter. We won. That's an easy one. That's a relatively easy one. Probably takes longer if you just run through it, but like with that jump, it's a joke. Okay, just two events left. Math fun! Okay, so the, the funny thing is, A, I used to be a high school math teacher. But, B, my brain also just turns off sometimes. So we're gonna get like four plus two and I'm gonna be like, Oh, 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 right, six, okay. So, yeah, this is gonna be fun. Hopefully, I don't embarrass myself. Straight up math problems, that's what it is. Math fun. Okay, what do we got? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. No, I don't want that one anymore. Uh, 8 times 9, that's friggin' 5, 6, 72? Oh, you have to, like, let go real quick. 
four, five, six. Uh, nine. Yeah, I have to remember to let off the button real quick. Seven, uh, 16. Uh, nine? No. There we go. I have six to find away. It's still six. Uh, nine to five, uh, three. Did I win? I did it! Okay, I'm pretty sure I can just outright lose this next event and still win the whole thing. So that's cool. However, the gold getting the gold gem on this one requires setting the world record. And the world record is a surprisingly harsh number. I remember as a kid doing this one, and I couldn't do this one on my own. I had to get a friend um, who I knew was really good at mashing. I had to get him to come over and do it for me. So, yeah. I'm probably not going to get it this time. And that means I have to play through the whole level again to get it again. So, cool. It's the same as the other dashes. It's just a very harsh time limit. I wasn't flying. You shut your hole. There's a gift stand. Try! Okay, it wasn't the world record. They So the world record was still like a minute. See, it wasn't the world record that was a harsh timeline, but the guy did tell you you had to break 11 seconds. Ten point nine eight, yeah! All right, so we've been going for a little while, but we did it. We got this far. It's pretty all right. This next level is pretty short, but I also think it'll be a good lead up to our finale. So until next time, everyone, we await the catastrophe.